it's foggy out this morning it's gonna have everything soaking wet everybody's up and going though so I didn't eat a whole lot last night. What's up with that? Yeah. I think with all the noise I've been making, working on the house, it's keeping the keeping the bears away, which is good. They um they just man they get into everything, and I'm afraid they'll be out here trying to get in the tractor and mess with the chickens. You know, as usual, they're waiting. Okay, it's taking a little doing, but I've almost got this first set of rafters in place. What I have to do <clears throat> is I have to run a string line from the back side of this one to the front side of the other one because my rafters overlap. And I run a plumb bob down the face of that other one to the string that's running from one side to the other. Oh, here, why don't fall off? So I'm pretty close. I need to move this one, need to tilt it out a little more. And then I can go ahead and set this one in place. Well, anchor it down, it'll be in place. I'll get it anchored in, and then I can move all the rest of them off of this front one. And that way everything comes out like it's supposed to. If you start off with one of them out of plumb, it's just gonna get worse as you go back. So it's really important to get this first one right. After that, it's pretty simple. All right. Let me grab. Oh. I need one of these. All right, here comes the fun part. She had a longer drill bit. All right, get all this down now. Go get the impact. This is the tricky part. Oh, getting down.
Okay, I can take the string down now. I'll take the other end down from over there. Put all this back in here. All right. I want 36 inches outside to inside. Right there. Okay, there that is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and answer some questions now because I know I'm gonna get some comments. These bolts, these lag bolts, are more or less just like, um, like a hurricane strap. They're just to protect it from lift and keep it in position so it doesn't move. Once the decking is on and everything is tied together, it's not ever gonna move. So, I know some people are gonna say that's not very structural. Well, it doesn't have to be. It just has to keep it from, just has to keep it from lifting up under a wind. And these things are long enough, there's, there's no way you're gonna pick this up. So we won't have to worry about that. If this was conventional framing, you know, regular, regular roof joist or rev, it would just be toenailed in there with a couple of nails. So this is, this is actually stronger than you know, than the way it would be if I was just framing a regular roof. Once it's all tied together, then it's, that's where you get all your strength from. Okay, now, I need to cut, I need to cut the end of this beam off because, well, it's too long. I had to leave all this extra length on here because when I picked it up, I couldn't, I couldn't reach far enough in if I cut this off um, to keep it balanced. I needed this extra weight out here. The thing is actually 29 feet long, so it's about five feet, five feet too much. But I'm going to have to cut it off in pieces because I don't want it, the end to fall off and go through the windshield of the backhoe. Well, let's see if I can nibble away at it. Alright. 
and get up here and cut it off without falling. I've already fallen out of this thing once this year. From the same height, by the way. Yeah, it may not look like it, but that's a long ways to fall. And when I was building the barn, I tripped over an extension cord. I had muddy boots on, and I slipped over this extension cord and went out backwards and landed with my feet straight up in the air. So I ended up in the ER with bruised organs and all kinds of problems, so I don't want to do that again. There's concrete in the way over here. I landed in the mud over by the barn. Either way it goes, it's not a lot of fun. All right. Now we want four feet.
Now that the rafters are up and I can go ahead and get the decking installed and finally get the roof covered up. Get this side covered up, then I'll start on the other side. Get the other side all taken care of, get the decking on, and then it's time for insulation and, and, uh, and getting the metal on. just about fully feathered now I don't they don't need their light their heat lamp on in the hen house but they won't go in there unless I turn it on I'll come out here at eight or nine o'clock and they're all sitting over on the steps waiting for me to turn the light on they'll sit there all night long so I don't know maybe they'll eventually go in there I may just leave them sitting out all night and see what they do as soon as I turn it on though, they take off. Let's see what the pigs are doing. That's gonna do it for today. Tomorrow I'll try to get all the rafter tails cut off the same length, get the decking on, and get ready to start putting the underlayment down, get it covered up so then it can sit there until everything else is finished. <laughs>